And back now to the arraignment of former President Donald Trump. Despite the criminal charges he's facing, Trump is considered by many to be the front runner for the 2024 Republican presidential nomination. We wanted to know if Florida senators and representatives are standing with him. CBS News Miami's Gabrielle Arzola joins us from the newsroom with some of their reactions. Gabby? So Lauren Elliott, our hope was to interview Florida's two Republican senators and our local Republican members of the House. Now, no one wanted to be questioned today, but that doesn't mean they're staying quiet. Put aside for a moment whether you like Trump or not like him, whether you're for him or not for him, today is a bad day for all of us. Senator Marco Rubio has been vocal since the start, coming out with this video earlier today. Today, American politics crosses a line that it's never going to come back from. After today, after today, especially on the basis of how ridiculous these charges are, after today, every prosecutor in America that wants to make a name for themselves now is going to have permission to basically go after someone in the other party. We asked Rubio's office to ask him questions and get answers on the indictment, but instead they referred me to his Twitter for any updates. We also reached out to Congressman Mario diaz Balart. They say he has no comment today, but referred me to a tweet statement he made last week saying, quote, the indictment of former President Trump is yet another dangerous, shameless, and politically motivated attack on the rule of law. Representative Maria Elvira Salazar also didn't want to take comment today, but sent me a tweeted statement from last week saying, in quote, this is no place for political revenge in our independent judicial system. It undermines our rule of law and everything our country was founded on. So we also reached out to Congressman Carlos Jimenez and Senator Rick Scott and have not yet heard back. In the newsroom, I'm Gabrielle Arzola, CBS News, Miami.